Welcome back once again friends. Let us get started by building the second part of our shopping cart activity. Now shopping cart you might recall is this very interesting activity where we emulate like an e-commerce store. So we say that we have a bakery and we get user to make the choices like whatever they want to purchase and we create a shopping cart for that user. Great practice in lists, great practice in Python programming. Now this second part we are going to extend that activity in an amazingly interesting way which is something that we always like which is this whole thing of discount now whenever we go to shop we look for discounts because this makes us feel good but many times what we don't realize is that discounts also make us spend more so we are going to offer discount to our customers but in a very smart way where we'll try to entice our customer to purchase a bit more than what they would have purchased which means that we are going to tell them something like you know buy more and save more Probably something like you spend 1000 rupees, you get 10% off, spend 2000, you get 20% off and so on. So recall in the part one, we had a simple bakery. We, you know, a user came in, he was asked, let's say, what do you want to purchase out of these five items? For example, let's say I say I want to purchase milkshake. I must tell how many units I want to purchase. So I say, for example, two units. Next, I say I want to purchase, say, uh, chocolate. And this time I want to purchase, say, four units. And say the user were to stop here, then, you know, we get a bill. Uh, we get a very simple you know shopping cart displayed again and you know we say the bill is say 559 rupees now as i said we want to sort of entice our user to spend a bit more than this so what we could do is that we can say hey look you know if you could spend let's say thousand rupees then we are going to give you discount now why did i get this thousand because that's the next multiple of 500 you could choose another scheme it could be 1500 for you or it could be 750 for you doesn't matter but i'm going to say hey look you know if you spend let's say thousand rupees i'm going to give you a discount and let's also see how that project might start looking once i do that so for example the same situation here uh, i say one then i say two units and i said three which is chocolate i say four units and now say i say proceed to check out this time notice it says that your total order is 559.94 however if you purchase for thousand rupees you are going to get a 10 percent discount would you like to take this offer we hope users will so i'm going to say yes why because i want an answer why and why or n so if i say yes for example it says you have the following options i could additional to what i purchased i could add say five more units of milkshake uh, say four ice creams five chocolates 12 eclairs nine cupcakes let's say i choose say five which means i want to say additionally purchase nine units of, units of cupcake notice now my shopping cart became two units of milkshake four units of chocolate nine units of cupcake my bill went above 1000 and hence I, as promised, gave a 10% discount. So after discount, the value became 925 rupees. I added a tax of 10% and that became total of 1017. Uh, so yes, user is happy. They got a discount. But look at the shopkeeper's point of view. Without the discount, the user had, say, a bill of 559 rupees. But after discount, you've got a bill of, say, 925 rupees. So we really entice the user into spending a little bit more for the discount. And, you know, as you can imagine, in your projects, you can be a lot more creative here. There's lots and lots of creative ideas you can build in here. Through this process, we are going to learn more about lists. We are going to learn more about some kind of you know mathematical operations. And we are going to obviously get a lot of programming, uh, practice in programming Python. Uh, so I hope you'll enjoy this activity. I hope you'll be creative. And I hope you will you know uh, learn more and more from this. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye-bye.